So today was day 14 of Packers training camp practice, and I want to start off with the most interesting information that came out from some reporters near the end of practice, then I'll touch on what happened a little bit earlier. But from Matt Schneidman, who said this, it looks like Michael Pratt is QB2 today, at least for red zone and end of practice drive. Don't know if it's just experimenting or if related to performance or injury with Clifford, who I believe threw two picks today. Pratt hits Sims for big gain down seam to set up winning field goal. Then Rob Domofsky says, practice number 14 goes one hour and 56 minutes. Interesting that Michael Pratt, not Sean Clifford, was a QB with the number two offense in the final drill of practice, a two-minute simulation. So I wonder if this is a sign of things to come. If potentially Michael Pratt has surpassed Sean Clifford, we don't know that's a fact, and we'll have to keep an eye on the rest of training camp practices and moving into next week and the week after that preseason games. But if you guys watch my post-game preseason game uh, reaction, I really did think that Michael Pratt looked better than Sean Clifford. Sean Clifford had 21 snaps. Michael Pratt had seven snaps. Pratt just looked more comfortable to me. And the fact that he's only in his first year and he already was looking better, in my opinion, than Sean Clifford made me think that eventually Pratt could take over and become a a better quarterback than Sean Clifford. Clifford does have that experience that Pratt doesn't have being with the Packers for a whole season. But just from a play perspective, I thought that Michael Pratt looked more polished, more in control than Sean Clifford, who has already been here a whole season. And of course, this isn't about a starting QB. It's about the backup job. And the the Packers, I mean, they saw something in Michael Pratt to draft him in the seventh round. And I think that the fact that we're seeing here um, at least a switch up a little bit in the way that snaps have been taken with both reporters mentioning that Pratt was taking these number two QB reps near the end of practice. It's it's at least something to keep an eye on that it could be that Pratt is going to overtake Sean Clifford as that number two quarterback. And so that's some interesting information to keep an eye on. Now back to the beginning of practice. Bill Huber said that Hopper, Tyrone Hopper is back, but Cooper, Ezra and Cooper still not back. Not great for the second rounder. Morgan, Jordan Morgan and Donovan Jennings back on the offensive line. Jair is back too. And so Jordan Morgan... Has been missing time with his injury, but he's back at practice. I don't think he was fully practicing. I think he was in a limited capacity, but good to see him back. Then from the starters today, we'll look at the biggest things here. Love at quarterback, Jacobs and Dylan at running back. So Dylan's still at number two running back, even though I personally believe Emmanuel Wilson is the better running back. And that's not just based off of Dylan and, you know, only rushing for, what, two yards last week in the preseason game because there weren't any holes open, but it was more so of what I saw from Emmanuel Wilson. He just looked better to me than A.J. Dillon looked last season running the ball. Emmanuel Wilson, in my mind, looks like the better back when it comes to running the ball. Then Musgrave at tight end, Wicks and Dobbs at receiver. Then Rasheed Walker, left tackle, Elton Jenkins, left guard. Uh, Josh Meyer, center, Sean Ryan, right guard, Zach Tom, right tackle. And I think was Jordan Morgan still coming back from that injury, wasn't fully practicing Uh, I assume Morgan will be that right guard once he's fully healthy. Then defense, Gary, Wyatt, Clark, Smith on the line. Wilson and McDuffie at linebacker. For some reason, Quay was sitting out. Not sure why there. Then at uh, corner, Jair, Nixon, Stokes. Safety, Bullard, McKinney. So Bullard getting another start there next to Xavier McKinney. And then Wes Hotquitz says Zane Anderson picks off Sean Clifford on first pass of um, the two. Not sure what he said there, but... Sean Clifford picked off. Not a great sign for Sean Clifford, who threw a ton of picks early in camp, seemed to throw less the past week or so, didn't throw a pick in his preseason game, and was okay. Uh, I wouldn't say he was great in the preseason game. Then to Ryan Wood, it wasn't a good route, but Jordan Love connects with Dontavian Wicks for about 25 yards on a crossing route at the start of today's practice. Keyshawn Nixon slipped in coverage on the play, and Love fired a laser. So Love hit Wicks on that big touchdown in the preseason game. And they continue to connect here. Then from Andy Herman, strike from Pratt to Wayne over the middle. Pratt continues to sling it, followed by a a bomb from Love to Watson deep downfield for about 60. Another gorgeous Love deep ball, and Watson showing off his big play ability. And if Watson can stay healthy, we're going to see a lot of that. Jordan Love has been dialing it up deep, which is great when you compare it to early last year where he was struggling. I do think he got better as the year went on. Matt Schneidman here. Koi Walker dropped out of practice a little bit ago. No real concern over his status, though. So that's good Good to hear. Andy Herman, big mistake by rookie Javon Bullard, who doesn't line up right and leaves Jaden Reed uncovered. 
Breed takes it deep. Love finds him for a huge gain down the left sideline. Xavier McKinney is a bit shaken up after the play and walks off with a trainer to the sideline. He then came back, so it seems like he is fine. Then from Ryan Wood, Jordan Love's deep ball is so electric right now. Someone else noticing it. It works even when it doesn't. Uh, barely underthrew Bo Melton down the right sideline, but rookie Evan Williams trucks him well before ball arrives. Easy DPI and about 40 yards. Then Andy Herman, Ben Sims with a nice catch over the middle from Clifford and a nice little move after the catch. Two nice plays from Sims so far. So he's probably working there to try to get one of those final tight end spots. Then Ryan Wood, an easy two-yard touchdown from Jordan Love on an out route to Romeo Dobbs. Haven't seen much busted coverage in camp, but that was one Dobbs wide open in end zone. Jair Alexander and Javon Bullard talking it over after the rep. Then Ryan Wood, goodness, Lucas Van Ness can turn the corner off the edge. Just blast past Kadeem Telford to sack Michael Pratt. That looked like the defensive line equivalent of a layup. And Lucas Van Ness flashed some nice plays in the preseason game as well. So it looks like he's taking, you know, another jump in year two. And then from Matt Schneidman, here's on the third kicker the Packers brought in recently. Alex Hale just missed three field goals in a row from 47, 54, and 51. He's four of eight on the day. Packers might be looking for another practice squad kicker if Joseph or Carlson gets claimed. So Alex Hale had started off nice the first couple practices. Today, though, started off well, missed the rest of those, so goes four of eight. Not great there. And so that kicker battle continues between Joseph and Carlson. And then I already brought up Michael Pratt taking those QB2 reps, which is interesting. And I'm going to be curious to watch the next few practices in this preseason game to see if that continues or if it was just an anomaly one day and Clifford stays at the top. Right now, if I had to pick a backup quarterback, um, as I've already said, I'd probably go with Pratt. I'd sort of assumed with, you know, the the amount of reps that Sean Clifford has having a year, you know, over Michael Pratt, maybe he could still win the job, even though I thought Pratt would be better in the long run. But it may be that Pratt is pushing his way up this depth chart right now. So it uh, will be interesting to watch and see if the Packers want to keep three quarterbacks um, or if they want to keep two and release one of these guys and have them be at risk of getting claimed by another team. So something to keep an eye on. But those are the biggest updates from today's practice. If you want to stay up to date with all Packers news, Feel free to subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time.